Good morning. Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I appreciate you stopping by. And of course, you got here just in time. <laughs> I'm a little bored. I've been on the road for almost three weeks now. And that has, that long roundabout journey has brought us here to Canyon Lake. We are at Potter's Creek, Potter's Creek Park, a Corps of Engineer campground on Canyon Lake. And we are here for the annular eclipse. That's happening in two days. We are, there's actually a, a, a gathering of duders. We're in site number 57. So what is that? I know that because it's spray painted on the asphalt. I really like Potter's Creek. This is a nice Corps of Engineer campground. Let's take a look at this, at this beautiful site. This is a 50 amp and water site, asphalt pad, very level. Thank goodness it's level. Our, our hydraulic leveling system is out of, out of whack. We've got 30, 20, and 50 amp in the pedestal. We have a water there. And we're just right next, you know, one side over from the restroom. We have two dumpsters right out in front, so we don't have to go anywhere unless we just want to. Now our site is does have a wooden picnic table with a cover on it and it's if you've been following the channel you'll remember back in the summer i was at dana peak park and i had a snake crawl out of the roof of the structure and it was the exact same configuration as this <laughs> so we'll be on the lookout for snakes to come crawling out of that opening right there it's a bit chilly, so we probably won't see any. We do have a cooker. It's a good one, too. We are in a, and we have a, a fire ring, and we are in a burn bag. No open flame. So we can actually use this if we're cooking with charcoal, but we cannot burn open flame. I keep hoping that the gray is going to brighten up, but it looks like we're going to have cloud cover until Saturday. Fortunately, it's gonna break on Saturday. Ooh, it's dark. You might wanna bring your own shower head. Because the one, the one that's here, it's, it's, it's all right. I even soaked it in CLR. Hold on, it's too dark in here. I even soaked that shower head in CLR before I tried to shower last night. Doesn't, it didn't, it didn't help. Bring a shower head. All right. Let me gear up and we'll go see some stuff. Canyon Lake is suffering just as bad as all of the other hill country lakes and most of the lakes in Texas because of the several years long drought we're in. Canyon Lake, really low. Water should be up to right below there on this rock. And my boat ramp fans, I hate to tell you, that boat ramp is dry. There's another one close by. We might, we're going to go check it out. I mean, there's not even any point of going over to the courtesy dock. It's, it's even drier than the boat ramp. This is a great sight, though, at number 42. So if the water was, except it runs downhill to the back but what a view now during the summer it might be rather miserable because that's west and the sun will be blazing hot 
but right now it's pretty nice. All right, let's go see some other campsites. We'll go see some really pretty. Let's go see some stuff. If you're gonna be here during the summer when it's hot, you, you, you're gonna want some shade. Well, up here on top of the hill, there are some sites that are just awesome with the oak trees covering them like that one. Oh man, that one's, I'm in site number 16. That's actually number nine. Number nine, number nine. And there's a couple more that are just really awesome. You'll have to catch the virtual tours. That way you'll know the best site for you. All right, let's go see some more stuff. There is one thing for certain. There are a lot of white-tailed deer. And we got a cluster of them up here on the right. Lots of deer to watch. If you're looking for a place in Central Texas, down close to San Antonio, San Marcos, if you're looking for a place down there to have a group gathering, check this out. Potter's Creek has got a really cool group pavilion and it would normally have a commanding view of the boot ramp. <laughs> well, it still has a commanding view. There's just not much to see. Par for the course. All right, let's 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 go check out a really cool camping idea. Most of our U.S. Army Corps of Engineer campgrounds have some type of group camping area. Potter's Creek has got something that's really unique and it's not, you don't have to rent the whole group thing. Uh, it's called, they're called family campsites. And, and they have, I don't know how many of them they have, six of them, I think, but they accommodate three RVs. One, two, three. And they have a bigger pavilion. I really like these. I really, I had, with that sight unseen, I wanted to rent one, but apparently they closed it. They have had... It is closed because the facilities are out of order. But I really wanted to camp here with some of my friends. Oh well, let's go find some more stuff. Got a good looking, good looking buck right there. Let's, let's get around here where you can see him. He's not legal. He's close though. And I think it's, this must be his harem right here too. That's cool. So I had someone ask me a question just a little while ago asking me why is it that most of the rvs are over there instead of over here and that's a really great question because over there there's there's not a whole lot of trees but over here there's a whole lot of trees and i really didn't have an answer for him at the time but i have an answer now and that's because i have not been here and i have not created a video so people don't know where to camp unless they've been here before so, so there's your answer and i'm fixing that problem right now this is site number 70. that appears to be a really flat site lots of trees to give you shade during the summer a pretty epic view except your patio is facing the wrong way I'm not pretty sure that's a 50 amp pedestal. Turn off. Now you know when you are looking for a site at Potter's Creek. They've got some really nice treed campsites over here, but you just have to be aware that some of them are pretty steep getting up. All right. Let's go do a shower check. Showers are all pretty much the same. There's somebody in there, so 
you won't see it. If the weather's not too bad, or even if the weather's, even if it's hot or cold or raining, you might be interested in sleeping in a screen shelter. If you're coming out to Potter's Creek, now, these actually have sinks in them. Not sure if you can see that from there. Let's go around to the other side. And some of them, maybe all of them, have tarps already installed. Yeah, there's your sink right there. And they've already got the tarps installed, so you don't have to bring any plastic or clamps or anything like that. The only downside is you're not right next. You can't pull right up next to it. You gotta walk in, bring a wagon. So is your idea of fun sitting on some pea gravel, collecting cuckleburrs, watching the wind blow? Yeah, mine, not, not me neither. But that's what you get to do here. This is the beach. <laughs> Lots of cuckleburrs growing there. If you want to do some tent camping, they have a loop just for you. And you get a, a cover and a table and a place to burn wood and cook steaks. And normally, you'd be right there at the water's edge. Not now. What I really want to know, what I'm burning, what I'm, what I really want to know is how much water is is in the Guadalupe River. So we need to go find, I think we need to go to the dam. We are on top of the dam. This is Canyon Lake Dam. We're way up there. There's more water in this one than the last lake we visited in San Angelo, Texas. Still haven't answered the question though. How much water? Yeah, but good news, good news. We're gonna find out. Cause there's a place where we can go and check that out. So let's, let's go there. Let's, let's go see some Guadalupe River stuff. Blanco River Authority in cooperation with New Brunswick's Utility. All right, no. Glass, foam, polished styrene prohibited. All right. We're going down there and see how much water's in the river. This is actually ADA accessible from somewhere up there. Ah, look at that cypress tree. Man, that is huge. The Guadalupe River has some giant cypress trees. Now that is a cool cypress tree right there. find some more stuff. I, I had hoped to be able to see what was coming out of the, coming out right down there, but it doesn't look like anything's coming out of there. Hard to tell. Maybe they've just diverted it so that it's going out through the power plant instead of here sounds like a lot of water but i don't I, I don't think it's that much so anyway if you're curious where as to where i am and that's a, a cool old oak tree there's actually a nature trail it's a parking lot for a nature trail over there it's below the dam so now you know wow that's cool 
So, a society of nobles sponsored the immigration of 7,380 Germans to Texas from 1844 to 1847. They founded New Braunfels, 1845, and then moving west, 46, Fredericksburg. Their Comanche Indian Treaty opened 3,800,000 acres between the Llano and the Colorado Rivers to peaceful settlement. Now that's, if you're not familiar with Texas history, that's a big deal because the Comanches were bloodthirsty. So Canyon Dam, looks like it was finished, the construction was finished in 1966. That means Canyon Lake <laughs> is as old as I am, or I'm as old as the lake, whichever one it is. I went for a drive. It actually took me 30 minutes. And I'm at Cranes Mill Park on the other side of the lake. And their campsites look a little more finished than ours do. Let's go take a look at the facilities. See if they're any better. There it is, same thing. Exactly, exactly the same. Cranes Mill Park. I guess this is a fishing platform when the, the lake is not real, real low. It's actually where the, the, the Guadalupe River comes in and makes a big bend right here so when you look at the lake map it's a peninsula but it's actually a bend in the river valley so th this area i'm at the very tip of the peninsula it's a day use area and it seems to be closed let's go up here and take a look i, I think they may be tent sites because we actually have a power pedestal power and water I have a lot of them. That's probably your best one right there. That's pretty much it. <laughs> there's, there's the little camping loop. And then we're here. Uh, it looks like maybe at one point there was a beach, but that's all so grown up that, that you can't even tell. All right. I guess I better go buy some groceries so Yappy will be happy. I'll see you back on the other side. As I was exiting Cranes Mill Park, I remembered I saw a sign coming in. Just before you get to the gate, there's a road that goes to your left. It says fishing dock. And there's your fishing dock. It's off limits. And I'm not going to go down there because I'd have to come back up. But this is the Guadalupe River, so you're fishing directly into the Guadalupe, I guess. I'm not sure. It appears that we have two different streams coming in. And that looks like that's probably deep water when this lake is full. Not so much right now. Okay. Oh, one other point. That, those trees, they're right over that hill. That's the camping ground, camp, campground. There's no gate for this parking lot. Uh, and you can literally just walk. There's a, there's a, a knee-high pipe like that. That's the only security you have if someone comes into this parking lot. So don't leave your e-bikes out. They might go missing. This is Dude RV with your Eclipse report. It has started. Look at all the dang cameras and all the people that have invaded my campsite. We were invited. You never know who's going to show up. All right. We'll keep you posted. Got these specialized cook cooking glasses, and I'm going to be doing some cooking next time. But right now, that's what we're seeing. Just a little bite. On this edition of Eclipse Cooking, 
of course, with every, no eclipse would be complete without bacon wrapped jalapenos, stuffed armadillo eggs, courtesy of Pickles on the Road. We can't see to eat with our glasses on, but we can sure taste. I know. It's kind of funny how it's cooled off a little bit. Yeah. I'm thinking the same thing. We would end up going that way. Chili. Hey, Oklahoma. What was that one? Hey, I was like, I was thinking. I'm thinking about him. Uh, Lake. Good morning from Potter's Creek. Potter's Creek Campground Canyon Lake. Oh, I like this part. I like this one. Not, not a big fan of the area, suburbia, that's developed around this. It's just really crowded on two lane roads. But this campground, I like it. It's clean for a Corps of Engineer. It's, it's really clean. Not a whole lot of litter. Bathroom is clean. Functional. Super hot water. Super hot showers. That's great on a chilly morning. We're done here. We spent four nights here. I liked it. We had a, had a great gathering of some of the duders to watch the eclipse yesterday. That was an inner, that was a neat experience. That was a fun experience. I want to do that again. Oh, hey, we can do it in the spring. One of the highlights of Potter's Creek Campground, just the sheer number of white-tailed deer. Every evening, we watch a dozen or so deer start up there and travel right here along the edge of this rough going down to the lake. And that was a really neat experience. Now it is sad, it's a sad situation where the lake is really, really low and you gotta go a long way down there to get to the water. And there's, there's only one boat ramp that I could find available to launch a boat on the whole lake. But that's only a minor thing. This campground, this is a good one. It is definitely more of a destination than a waypoint mostly because the two-lane highway out there is just so, so overwhelmingly busy. And going to the grocery store is an interesting experience here. The, the, the closest big store, HEB, is it, it's almost an hour drive from here. There's a little grocery store, a Brookshire's Brothers, about five miles up the road. They have a pretty good selection uh, but yeah, destination versus waypoint, mostly because it's the, of the traffic. But it's quiet. I like it, like it a lot. I like Potter's Creek much better than Crane's Mill. Crane's Mill was just, getting there was just, I, I wouldn't want to take Trudy over to Crane's Mill. But other than that, yeah, it'd be all right. We're done here. We're gonna head east towards Houston. We've got, we're gonna go to Lake Fayetteville for a couple of nights. So join us next week as we explore Lake Fayetteville. That is a lower Colorado River Authority site. Campground. So we're gonna pack it up, drive east. If you found some value in this video, please click on that thumbs up, heart it, whatever, blast it out across your social media. If you've not already, I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button, getting really close to 20,000. For those of you who have been following along, man, that's why we get to see places like this. Thank you for that.
and for my patrons. We're most grateful for your generosity. That keeps the channel going, keeps the, the camera equipment functional and all that fun stuff. Thank you so much. You guys rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?